Hello everybody, it's Larry. Welcome to today's video. Now, you can see me in many videos. I'm starting to use the folded ball and pattern method in so many more videos and a lot of people really aren't straight on it. So this is going to be about it. Now, bear with me. I'm going to do it like I do in videos, which may confuse you, but we're going to explain it all. I promise. Stay tuned. It's very easy. All right. So if I have a DNA match and let's say that they match me at 106 Cinemorgans and I don't know where I should be looking in my tree for a match. Well, I use the folded ball and pattern method to estimate where I should look. Now you've heard me in the videos use this and I go 3417, 850, 425, 212, 106. I should be looking right here. And you just said, whoa, whoa, back up. You lost me. I know I did and that was kind of on purpose because if I lost you there, this video is for you and I'm going to explain it not only so that you understand it, so that you can use it, perfect it, and help you find where your matches belong in your tree. So here we go. Ball and pattern method. This is the ball and patterns. It's in a straight line. You're 6,800 centimorgans. Your parents are each 3,400 to you. Okay? Your grandparents are 1,700 to you. 850, 425, and on back. Every time you go back a generation, you get twice as many ancestors. Therefore, the amount that each one gives you is half, all right? Because you're halfing it up. Two parents combined at 3,400 to make you at 68. Four grandparents combined at 17 to give 68. Four times 1,700 is 6,800, all right? Here it's eight, and so eight times 850, 6,800, and on an infinitum. All right, so this is the ball and pattern. So all I've done is I've taken balls, okay, put them in a straight line so that you can see that division out. Now, most of you are aware of that, all right? Most of you understand the concept that every time you go back a generation, it divides by two. If not, there's some videos in channel. Look at the, uh, you know, the ball and pattern video. Uh, that explains it much better as it does the previous folded ball and pattern. But this one is going to really help you understand the ball and pattern, all right? So the first thing we have to do is take this ball and pattern and we gotta fold it. <laughs> so we're gonna fold this left side. We fold it down. Okay, the numbers are still the same. Everything's the same, all right? Here it is before. All we did was fold it. All we're doing is folding it. All right, now we need to fold the right side down. Okay, again, nothing's changing for the numbers. We're just folding it down. Now, I'm gonna make it big so that we can work with this. I added the word U and I took the zero from over here and I stuck it in there. We'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so folded ball and pattern method. All we've done is we've taken the ball and pattern and we've now folded it. And this is gonna allow us to quickly look at our tree. So this is our tree, here's you, okay? And you got two parents and you know they have two parents and on the infinitum. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these DNA matches that could fall anywhere underneath this. All right, so the first level up that you can have a match is with a mother and a father. So we're gonna add a person here, a sibling. Now that sibling is gonna match you at 3,400 or 1,700. Now remember, this parent gave you 3,400. And then when you divide it again, that's 1,700. That's a single path sibling. If you have a dual path sibling, they got 1,700 from the other parent. So this sibling will either be 1,700 or 3,400. So when you see me counting up, I go 3,417. It means that if I match somebody at this node and they're at the equal level to me, they're gonna be 3,400 or 1,700. Now, the next node up, you divide this by two and by two again. So it's gonna be 850, 425. Okay, even though that says 1,700, that's in a straight line. What we've done was we folded it, all right? So we come up here to the next one. See, it's 854.25. Well, let's count it out. There's from you, you're 68, 34 to a parent, 1700, 850, 425. So a single path to a single MRCA is 425. But a dual connection with this other one would make it 425 and 425, which is 850. So a single path is 425, a dual path was 850. So again, just like here, if it was single path is 17, dual is 34. We come here, single is 425, dual is 850. So when we go up, and if this is gonna be the MRCA level, again, we're gonna divide this again, 212, 106. So we come up here, 34, 
17850, like our numbers there. And then 425 212 106. 106 is a single path MRCA. And if we get a tool, two of them, if both parents are the same for them and the ancestry and for us, it'll be a 212. We come up to the next level. Again, we're going to take that single path again. We're going to divide it in two, which would be 53 and 26. So how to get it? 34, 17, 850, 425, 212, 106, 53, 26 is a single path. And then if it has two of the ancestors the same, then it'd be a 53. And then lastly, as we go on up, come all the way up here to 212, 106 down to six, single path is six, and a dual path is 13. And a dual path, again, means two MRCAs instead of just one. All right, so remember we came here and I said there was a 106? We said 3,400, 1,700, okay? That was that first dot up. And then the next one is 850, 425. And the next one's 212, 106. And so we knew the 106 was gonna be here. So come down here, all right? Parent, grandparent, great-grandparent, okay? So we're gonna come back over. Parent, grandparent, great-grandparent. That's where we said it would be, right in here. So we're gonna be looking at Boatman, Collins, Tarrant, Perryman, Taylor, McFarland, Clark, and Brown to see if they have any of those names. Now, if we, they don't have any of those names in theirs, I'm gonna add the other eight in, because you know there's eight here, these going over, because this is Brown, that's Clark, that's McFarland, that's Taylor. They add one more in, there's 16 at the next level. But I'm gonna start by looking at this level, because that's the level that's most likely. Now, it can be up, it can be down, you know, either way, but if it's down, it's gonna be incorporated in here. So, I'm not gonna worry about these four. So, I'm gonna come here, all these names are included. All right. Now, why do you not come up here? Because that's twice as many to look through. So, you know, if you're trying to look at something and find it the fastest, look at these eight. If that's not it, add in the other eight and look for those. Okay. All right. So, again, quickly recap. This is the ball and pattern. You just fold it. Okay. You just fold it. And then you look at the MRCAs at each node. This will be 3417. The next one. It's going to be 825, or excuse, you know, 850, 425, 212, 106, 53, 26, 13, 6. And that's the folded ball and pattern method, and that will allow you to see a DNA match, see how many centimorgans they match you, and just quickly, just by counting up the, the tree, okay? Just counting up the tree here. 3,400, 1,700, 850, 425, 212, 106, 53, 26, 13, and 6. And since it doesn't show 6, it would be 0 in there. All right? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was more understandable than the previous one. But I really wanted to explain the concept of the ball and pattern, the folded ball and pattern, because it's such a great help when you're trying to figure out how somebody's related to you. And in fact, it's the fastest method I know about. So use the folded ball and pattern method. Uh, it will help you get to the right spot faster. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends if you think they would like it. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and if you haven't become a member, consider doing that so that we can make more videos like this that will help you do your genealogy better and faster. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon.